Downtown dog napping. The four legged mascot for economic revival snatched, and it's all caught on camera. News for you. Because we have some breaking news about this dog being back, and wanted to get the um, full story just about um, how he got stolen and like how you got him back, and really just we all love this guy so much. Um, so we had just finished a shoot that day, and we were unloading equipment into our back loading doors. Oh yeah, so give everybody a background. So you work at Fremont work Studio at, East. Yeah, Fremont yeah. East Studios um, on 221 Las Vegas Boulevard. It's gonna be. It's right across the street from the New Zappos campus, next okay. to the parking garage. And um, we do anything and everything production there. So okay. we had just finished a shoot that day. We were unloading everything into the back loading doors. Um, and there was also a van parked at our back loading door. Mm. So needless to say, our back loading door mm. was wide open. And Mac went with us on the shoot. Many people had, you know, were, was playing with him during the shoot and all that. So we had just gotten back and we were bringing stuff in. And he went and kind of, you know, stood by the door. Okay, and, and, and so this is Mac, right? This is your dog. If people it feels like everybody knows him, but not everybody might. And he's a miniature. He's a miniature pincher. Pincher. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then he comes to work with you at the studio every once in a while. Yeah, two and, to three times a week. Okay. And then usually you have the door open. We don't always have the door open. It's only when we're unloading and loading things into oh, okay. the studio. Yeah, yeah. But you um, trust him enough to. Oh yeah, do he's there. very okay. well trained, so he does not leave. Right. Um. So. He was sitting. He was sitting right outside of the door since we were walking back and forth. And when we realized he went missing, we freaked out. I'm, A lot of the people who were working there, um, who don't know him, thought he had run, run away. They're like, you know, it's a dog. He's gonna run. And I'm like, right. no, he he doesn't run. He doesn't run away. So how many minutes was it? Do you think? Like, did you have the exact time on the footage that, so you could tell like when he got stolen and like yeah, how long so it took you to notice? We. We decided to look at the footage um, and saw that he was taken at. Um, 5 12 p.m. Okay, and when we were looking at the footage, it was like 5 36 um, okay, gotcha. Because we were spending like 20 minutes just running around outside. I'm just like there's no way he ran out But I'm just gonna run around and we all ran around looking right. for him <laughs> and obviously he was nowhere to be found so When we saw the footage we knew that um, Someone had taken him right Okay, so basically you're working, this door opens, you're kind of in the vicinity, but then you notice him missing, then you guys start running around, and then after 20 minutes, you decide to go get the footage, right? Yeah, after and, 20 minutes or so, okay. someone was like, hey, I pulled up footage on the on the, uh, the security cameras, and I was like, oh my god, we can take a look, and they're like, you really need to see this. Okay. And with a real serious tone, I was like, oh my god, please don't tell me, and then I had this gut feeling someone had taken him. Yeah, okay, and then this is what you found. But Two-year-old Mac, who is a miniature pincher, was taken Saturday afternoon. He's the mascot for Fremont East Studios in downtown Las Vegas, and this is the video surveillance proving it. It shows a car pulling up to the studio, a woman getting out of the car, and then grabbing the dog. Mac's owner hopes he comes home soon. All right, so when you saw that... Your heart drop, or what was, what was that moment like? Oh, so absolutely. I was so scared because um, from the day that I got him and started training him, every day I tell my boyfriend, I don't know what it would be like without him. I have no idea what it would be like without him. And my biggest fear was someone was going to steal him because everybody says he's so cute. Right. And right. it had happened. Yeah, well, I mean, and you, you said, like, you spend sometimes like a half hour every night just training him to do tricks. Like, he's a big part of your life, right? Absolutely. I mean, yeah. Okay. So, and well, actually, what tricks can he do? Anything cool? Um, I mean, he does like a little a ballerina note. twirl. He, I mean, if you most basic stuff like speak and jump <laughs> and stuff like that. So. Okay. Well, anyways, but we'll, so I had a tangent. We'll go we'll back to the story. But so you noticed this uh, person stole it, and you didn't recognize her at all, or did did you faintly Absol recognize her? Okay. Absolutely not. We had asked everybody who was in the studio that day, does anyone recognize this person that's right. on on the video camera right now? And no one, no one knew who she was. Okay. We just saw a girl getting out of her car, trying to woo him over. He yeah. wasn't having it, was walking it towards the studio door, trying to go in, and then she came over and grabbed him. Mm. Mm. Okay. Um, so the, so that first time I learned about it was, probably, I guess, a little bit after that. So I, you went Ogden Peeps. What, what did you start doing at that time to get the word out? Like, I, um, So absolutely, social media was the first thing I hit. Right. Because um, I also do our social media for Free Money Studios. Okay. So social media for me is very easy. Right. So social media, first thing I hit, Ogden Peeps, 
Facebook, Twitter, just everything I can to get the word out. Um, and then with the help of Sergeant Curtis, got a hold of Channel 3, um, the police knew about it. So then it just started spreading like wildfire. Um, I even got a phone call. Years. Yeah, yeah I even got a phone up. call from Jersey from one of my friends. I saw your I saw your segment on the news on Fox Live. And I was like, <laughs> really? I didn't know it was international. I thought it was a, I mean, oh, I didn't yeah. know it was a national America's thing. Missing. I thought it was just, yeah. a, you know, like a local thing. So I was pretty shocked. Okay, so then you, um, so like walk me through this. So like everybody's just running around. I'm sure it was hard to sleep that night, but you were just kept going with it. And then how many um, more days until like the action happened or what were you doing in between there? So in between there, we plastered the town with flyers. Um, we walked to every single store we could find and asked them if they would mind putting a flyer up. We offered a $1,000 reward for whoever could find him or oh. anything. So... Do you, know, um, do you know how much a dog like this would go for? Like, was that more than... Because you were thinking maybe they'd sell him or oh, something yeah. like so, that. Um, so. so I was afraid they were going to sell him. And miniature pinchers in stores go for about fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars 1600 okay. So me offering a $1,000 reward, I, yeah, I yeah, thought yeah, wasn't yeah. absurd. Um, so okay. I was just desperate to find him. He's, he's my baby. So. And did you buy him originally? No, or is he? I actually adopted him from the shelter. I got really lucky. They mislabeled him as a chihuahua, and when I took him to the vet, oh. they said he was actually a miniature pincher. Okay. And now he is, uh, so this he has a collar, which actually has your phone number on it, and he's got a chip, right, in the Absolutely. air? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, in the back, yeah. All right. And then um, then who discovered this car? from the, so, so somebody saw the footage, is what I, uh, way I understand it, and then just noticed that car, which was parked, like, just like, for what, 50 feet away from, yeah. like, where it got stolen? We got so. really lucky. So. Yeah. Once again, a week later, he, he was still gone a week later, and we had just finished another shoot. And um, my shooter editor, Johnny Wood, yeah. was loading stuff into the studio, and he noticed, he told me he noticed it was a silver Nissan, and he saw that the hubcap was missing, which that was the biggest mm, detail we saw on the gotcha. video. So he ran over to see if it was the car, and lo and behold, missing it was, hubcap, it right? was the car, and he came running into the studio frantically. And the moment he told us, everyone came running out. And that was when <laughs> Sergeant Curtis was called, the police was called, Ogden Peeps went out, you know, like 40 people showed up, right, and everybody's right. just camping out by this car waiting for the people to come back. That, yeah, because that was my favorite moment, is that we came over, uh, Jake, Joe, we and Joe saw it in Ogden Peeps, so we came over to see the action too. But there was, there was like a huge part of the community that was there just watching. Oh good, like is people party. gathering? Yes. Oh good. Yeah, right over there. Where's this? We're going to go find Mac. We'll be right back. That's the car right there. That's the car. Look at the car right there. You guys ready to bust this criminal? Definitely. Oh gosh. Oh, there's Nina. How are you feeling about the stakeout? I just want my dog back. <laughs> oh. I just want him back. Yeah, we've gone, and you saw this uh, hubcap missing, and everybody starts waiting there. And it was a while, right? And this girl, I guess, was inside, but then I wasn't there when she actually finally came out. So tell me the story of what it was like and what she said. So actually, we thought she was inside the Gold Spike, and then the Gold Spike security brought us in to look at their footage. And actually, they didn't even go in the Gold Spike. They parked there, and they just walked straight to Fremont. Oh, so they're just they're just over they there just, partying, like just, on Fremont Street. Yeah, they just oh, park there and they okay, walk straight to okay. Fremont. So it was we we staked out for about three and a half hours. <laughs> um, so almost midnight was about the time they finally came back towards their. Car. And you had two news cameras there, right? That was Channel Eight and we had Channel Three. Or Channel, or channel, channel Three. Channel Three, okay. and then oh uh, Freeman, who okay, is yeah, yeah, yeah. manager of our studio, also caught some. Right, plenty of cameras around yes. there to like catch her. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> and then what she say to you? I mean. Um, How, I, who confronted her first, police or was it? Sergeant Curtis did. Okay, yeah, I yeah. absolutely trust Sergeant Curtis because right, right, right. he has been there for my every beck and call. Right. There are no, you know, seven days of torture. So he yeah. he was the one that approached him first and said, "Hey, is this your car?" And the first thing she said was, "The first thing she said was, um, oh my gosh, are you guys Sammy's parents?" And she had renamed him. Oh, it's um, not Sammy. It's not Sammy. Lay down. Call them Sammy, I was, but is that, did I was, it bug you? Yeah, it did. Yeah, that you bugs know, me, kind of. Obviously, if you're renaming an animal, you have an intent to keep. Hmm. You you weren't looking for you know right, somebody right, right, to right. return him. And she knew what his name was. She admitted to me she she had saw the tag, 
Yeah. Because she said she tried calling me a bunch of times, but number was wrong. Or right. You but know, then yeah. But I loved what you did because then you pulled out your phone, right? And said, yeah. Like the number's not wrong. Like, yeah. Let's try it. I pulled out my I mean, phone and I was just like, go ahead and call it right now. And she said she didn't have it and. You know, it was just, it was pretty crazy. So um, when they first got back to their car, um, they they were pretty intoxicated, and you can tell. Um, I think they had been there for a little over five hours, oh, judging geez. by the footage of the but security. But was somebody sober to drive them, or would they probably have? Um, no, I think the guy the guy drove, her, okay. her boyfriend drove, yeah. and um, he, he was definitely the sober one out of the two. Okay. And... Um, we, we hopped in the car, Sergeant Curtis, I, and Mo from the Rangers. We all, we all got in Sergeant Curtis's car, and we followed them back to their house okay. to go get him. So the moment we got to their... They live in Henderson, by the way, so it was okay, a yeah, really yeah, yeah. long, stressful drive. <laughs> um, and then by the time we got to their house, she, she opened the garage door, and they pulled in. And before you know they even had a chance to do anything, I hopped out of the car, and I heard Mac barking from inside the house. I knew it was him. So when she oh, cracked could, the door open, I was just like, Mac! And she came running, and he came running out right by her feet and came straight. Champ, get his dog back. There he is. The little Mac and Donos. Ah. Ah. Hi, Mac. Hi. Hey, little dude. to me oh that's great what a happy ending so charge, charge her at all or is it just one of those things that we i mean we were deciding back and forth between if we want to press charges or not and um i ultimately decided not to okay um not because i'm not upset with her right but mostly because i want my ordeal to be done Right, I right. feel like it's closed. I don't want to deal with it anymore. And pressing charges, just, you know, court fees, missing work, and just, I don't want to have to see her face again. <laughs> yeah, no, I can understand that. And you got, the important thing is that you got the person you care about back. So. Absolutely. The dog you care about. So uh, what would you guys do to celebrate? Take him home and... Um, so actually, we got open home... Open dog food or something? Yeah. Like... We got home at 2.30 <laughs> in the morning, and my mother was in town from Jersey. She had specially come out here to see me and Mac. Oh, really? And Mac had been gone. Yeah. So she was really excited to see him. So the next day happened to be Petapalooza. Oh, Down at all Sunset right. Park. So it's a big <laughs> festival for, for pets. Yeah. So we took him down there with his best friend and his girlfriend. Yes, Mac has a girlfriend. <laughs> He's off and, the market, ladies. And, um, yeah, so he had a ball of a time. You're like, what did you think about the way everybody came together? Um, my opinion of the community hasn't changed because the okay. community down here is awesome. Right. And I always, I always knew that. Yeah. Um, but I was still surprised at how quickly the community came together for me and, and helped us find him. And for for all of you who helped, thank you so much. I, I have no idea yeah, how Because it was all to, the eyes you had looking I, for, I have right? no I idea mean, how, to, how to thank everybody or how to repay everybody who, who uh, really helped. It would have been so um, frustrating, too, if she was, like, walking to her car just so close to where you work and, like, just not ever knowing. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. anyone who wants to come and see him, he's at <laughs> Fremonti Studios with me, like, three, you know, three times out of the week. So... All right. Does he have his own Twitter account or anything? He has his own Facebook. Oh, okay. Um, his, we started a Facebook called Bring Back Mac when he was lost. Oh, really? So now we change it to Return of the Mac. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for coming out and talking to us. Thank I really you. appreciate it. It's fun to have you on the podcast. So, And you too. Like a flashback, Vegas Tech, don't forget to spell it with the hashtag.